A few years ago, Boulder Bay was brimming with Colorado River water. But today, after four years of drought, lake levels have dropped more than 60 feet and the shoreline continues to recede. With lake levels falling, the Water Authority is working hard to extend one of the intakes that draws water from the lake. Let's take a look. More than 80% of the drinking water delivered to customers in southern Nevada comes from the Colorado River. River water stored in Lake Mead is drawn from two enormous intakes located near Saddle Island. Water then travels through one of the two treatment facilities and is transmitted to customers in southern Nevada. Intake number one, built in the early 1970s, consists of an intake tunnel and a 12-foot diameter vertical intake shaft. As part of construction, the Water Authority is installing a 12-foot diameter welded steel pipe that will extend the inlet of intake number one to a new elevation of approximately 975 feet. That's about the same elevation as intake number two, which was completed in 2000. While the lake level continues to fall, the main concern is not that available water would extend beyond the intake level. Engineers are more focused on water quality. Water Authority Director of Engineering Mark Jensen explains. While water quality in Lake Mead is generally very good, the best quality water is found in the deeper parts of the lake. Water at the surface of the lake is warmer and it's more subject to the influence of contaminants. As lake levels have fallen during the recent drought, intake number one has become more and more influenced by the waters at the surface of the lake. By extending intake number one deeper in the lake, we can improve the quality of the water for our community. In order to pull water from increasing depths, installing the extension calls for work to take place more than 100 feet below the lake's gleaming surface. This pipe extension is relatively short, it's only 180 feet long, but the pipe is 12 feet in diameter and the totally assembled package is over 200 tons. So the detailed design, the careful planning, and the skillful execution all come together to result in a project that's very challenging, but very important. The project is scheduled for completion by the end of July 2004, just in time to meet the peak summertime water demand. Although the construction schedule is very aggressive, we're able to avoid interruptions in water service to our customers by using the capacity of the second intake to keep the water flowing. As construction continues around Saddle Island, a no-boat zone will be in effect through July 15, 2004. Whether it's the use of ozone or state-of-the-art laboratories, the Water Authority is committed to providing high-quality drinking water the Lake Mead Intake Extension is just part of that commitment. Reporting for Waterways, I'm Neil Ladotti.